What's going on, fam? Hope everybody is doing fantastic out there today, tonight, whatever. We are taking a look at a very, very cool knife. Um, if you've already seen, I did a, a kind of a interview with Rob at Asheville Steel or Paragon Knives. Um, really cool dude. Um, spent a lot of time with him, uh, you know, over a couple of days uh, on a recent trip up to Tennessee. Uh, these guys are on the way for us. We're in kind of middle of North Carolina, um, and they're in western North Carolina. So it's about a two-hour journey for us to see these guys, and about another two hours out to Smoky Mountain. So um, anyway, really, really awesome uh, shop tour with him. I uh, also got to check out um, Hypercut Manufacturing, which is who does the uh, the manufacturing of these. And then, um, you know, all of this is all USA-made uh, Western North Carolina done, you know, the boxes are made in North Carolina, uh, the anodization, even the Cerakoting and all of that, uh, Cerakote is done by Iron Coat there in uh, Western North Carolina as well. Um, so it's a, you know, in all actuality, it's really, you're looking at about a, a three business, you know, and he calls it a triangle of, you know, small family ran companies that are all making some really, really kick-ass products. Um, so a few changes, they are going to be changing their boxes. They've recently discussed that. So they're going to have a 3d printed, I believe it's 3d printed, but it's going to be a plastic box with magnetic closure. It's still going to have the kind of the slide effect to it, but really cool stuff. Anyway, enough jammering. Uh, let's break into the knife here. So you slide out the uh, lid there and then you have a metal kind of COA here. Again, there you have the manufactured by Hypercut. Um, limited lifetime and this is the titanium warlock s35 titanium all that good stuff slide this over here to the side and then there's your presentation he likes to say it kind of greets you with a smile there so you've got the uh the kind of the the smile look from that but yeah so this is the warlock it's not a new knife it did win i think in 2022 uh one most innovative uh, knife, uh, most innovative, I believe, most innovative USA knife, uh, something of that nature on, at Blade Show. Really cool stuff there. I, I did, I believe, I did show that off in one of the two videos that I shot for them. Uh, this is one that my wife picked out. It is a uh, kind of a teal to blue to purple anodized titanium. Has the titanium pocket clip as well. But uh, just a really, really neat system. One thing I've kind of noticed about this, and we'll talk about this. I've got another video coming um, about uh, just gravity knives in general. One thing I've really noticed about this is all gravity knives will rattle a little bit. But these don't rattle side to side like most. There is a little bit of rattle up and down. But uh, there's just because of how the bearing system works in there. But a gravity knife, just like an OTF, there's a there's a lot of... Uh, there has to be a lot of freedom of movement in these to allow for them to operate. So you're always going to have a little bit of a, a little bit of a rattle. But I really like how these uh, are a kind of a unidirectional rattle, if you will. Um, so it is a clamshell system. So the way you work these is you cannot uh, have your hand gripping the bottom of the of the thing. So you literally are just using two fingers to pinch, and the clamshell opens. Has a satisfying kind of clunk to it when it closes. But uh, so you close that down and then just the knife comes around. So I'll try to, it's kind of hard to do it on camera here. But uh, trying to limit my free range of movement. But really cool. And then you, if it's standing straight up like this, if you normally would close it, literally all you have to do is pinch it and it closes for you. So again, really interesting design. Absolutely gorgeous grind work. Um, we'll we'll get zoomed in on this so we can see all of the grind work and everything done by Hypercuts. Very, very, very nice work. And then there we can see, again, some of the milling. Inside here, we can kind of take a little peeky do. I don't know if it's going to focus on the inside there, but you can see how there's basically two bearings. The blade just floats around on those two bearings. They're just a unidirectional bearing, and so that's what allows the knife to come and close in. But really, really cool work. 
Uh, this is one that I've had my eyes on for quite a while. And now, like I said, they do offer a bunch of different variations on this. They do have aluminum versions as well that are um, you know, much more on the affordable end of the spectrum. So the aluminum ones, I believe, are right in the, uh, you know, the upper $300 range. I believe they're three, I want to say 380, something along those lines <clears throat> for your aluminum models. And you can get those Cerakoted there at Iron Coats. Um, and they have, you know, there's all kinds of different color variations and things like that they offer. They have one I, I, I kind of like to call the Black Widow, where it's, you know, the black with the red blade. Um, they also offer, they have blue and everything else. But um, then they do uh, several different blade grinds. Uh, they have a Sorcerer's Grind, which looks really cool. Um, we showed all that off in the... Um, in the video that, uh, that I did for them. And then there's also, I believe they call it the Enchanters uh, Warlock, which has uh, cutouts in the aluminum here. And I think they even offer one in titanium as well, but the has these cutouts. It looks like webbing. It's absolutely sick. Um, just beautifully, beautifully done knives. Um, now, they are, the titanium one is uh, substantial in the weight department. Uh, you're looking at 7.7 .7 ounces. So this is not a light pocket knife, um, but this also isn't, uh, to me anyway. Now you could certainly carry, the aluminum ones especially, can certainly be very easily carried all the time. Um, They're a lot lighter in my experience with them. This is a uh, piece of art, honestly. It is very functional art, but it is art. Um, I have carried it. Um, Jaleesa has carried it, so... But uh, it is, uh, it's one that gets very, uh, you want to get very infrequent carry, but uh, it is one that is very much worth showing off and is a absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous work of art here. Um, I wish the lighting would do this uh, titanium justice, but um, it really, uh, it really doesn't. But um, now what's really cool about this, and we'll kind of segue into a little bit of the visit for them. So they do have a, a storefront, um, for lack of a better word, they, their, their compound, uh, as, as Rob calls it is, you know, that's, that's, it's, it's everything. It's where they, they eat, sleep, drink, and that's where they live. Um, so they do have a showroom there so you can go in. Um, so if you're ever in the area or if you want to make a trip out that way or whatever, um, you can come out there and you can pick up, uh, any, any of their knives that they have there. And what's really cool is when you do that, um, you can actually pick up, a drop from and they'll you know it gives you the option to take one home so this is a drop of the s35 that these blades are cut out of and so you can you know you can see that that's uh where your warlock blade comes from and uh, i think that's really freaking cool that he gives you that option to be able to to do that um it's kind of yeah i guess it's it is uh it's just one of those things for me i just thought it was really really neat and um yeah, just a uh, just a cool piece as a as a memento of being able of actually going up there. Now um, I have another really interesting piece, a really cool thing from that trip. So this here is a prototype of the A2 fighter. Um, so this he talked about it in his video as well. Uh, this was a design. I think it was from Masters of Defense. They uh, they absorbed that company. They bought out that company, and this was one of their. Uh, one of their pieces. Now they have since changed it to a double-edged fighter, um, but the original kind of the original prototype, the original thing that they had, it was this a single-edged here. And uh, so this was one of the uh, one of the prototypes from before they went to full production with these things. Uh, I believe this was done by a, uh, another North Carolina um, custom knife maker or blacksmith. Um, I don't know how much of it was hand done or if, you know, it was done with blanks or whatnot, but again, it's a really, really cool piece. And it was something that, uh, he surprised me with and it was a, um, uh, you know, really awesome to, uh, to be honored with this really cool piece of, uh, of actual steel history. Um, and not to mention, it's just a really, uh, just a really wicked looking blade as well. And, uh, the handle is actually really comfortable, which is, doesn't look like it would be. It looks like it would, it looks like it would be a little awkward, but, uh, when you put it in your hand, it's it's really 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 comfortable. <clears throat> um, yeah, so I'll also be I'm going to be looking for a sheath, uh, getting a sheath made for this thing too. I think that'll be really cool, just to have it uh, presented uh, from another potentially another local maker or somebody to do a sheath for it. But um, yeah, that is pretty much all uh, all we wrote on this one. I just wanted to get a quick video out um, on this knife just to kind of showcase it a little bit more. And uh, and talk about more of that experience that we had uh, when Jaleesa and I went to 
uh, Asheville Steel. And then also, again, getting to meet uh, Dylan with uh, Hypercut Manufacturing was really awesome as well. He makes some absolutely gorgeous stuff. Um, so I did a little bit of a video with him as well. Um, but yeah, so just... Uh, just stellar stuff all around, and uh, if you are, again, if you are in that area, if you're, you know, something where you're in western North Carolina or eastern Tennessee, um, and you want to make that trek, it is well, well worth it, just to, I mean, just to meet and hang out with Rob, if nothing else, um, but once you get in there, you're going to want to buy something, and uh, and it's, uh, it is really, like I said, it's really a worthwhile trip, so... A uh, link for uh, his shop and everything will be down below. Same with uh, Hypercut and Iron Coat. I'll try to put all their information down below. Um, so I really appreciate you guys. As always, please remember to be kind, be humble, be EDC. I'll take care.